Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. While I will read this article for you and I'm going to be yapping around, uh, I would like you to do this. I would like you to think uh, if, thing, if the roles would be reversed. That is, uh, the Russians are the Ukrainians and the Ukrainians are Russians. And see if you would be okay with this. So, in this case, uh, the Ukrainians are uh, succeeded in blowing up some Russians and uh, everybody's celebrating, um, you know, we're supposed to. And then you got here, uh, let's say it's the other way around, the Russians will blow up some Ukrainians uh, and uh, not everybody's going to celebrate, obviously. The problem is not only the, the, uh, the sides switch them around, but also the timing, okay? Christmas, right? the orthodox christmas all right so we have here uh, this article from ukraine form it is from today the 6th of january 2022 ukrainian forces destroy russian base near crimea up to 100 invaders wounded now switch that and say um, russian forces destroy ukrainian base near kiev up to 100 beautiful ukrainians wounded while they were celebrating christmas and enjoying uh, the beautiful holiday what a crime okay you know what i mean okay the ukrainian general staff has confirmed the january 5 strike on the base of the russian occupy uh, occupation forces in havrilivka druha Kherson region. According to Ukraine Forum, the general staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces said this in evening, in its evening update. And I'm quoting, up to 100 wounded servicemen were brought to local hospitals. Information about the uh, about elim eliminated invaders is being clarified, the general staff said. On January 6, Ukrainian aircraft struck an area where the Russians occupier were, occupiers were stationed. Units of the rocket troops and artillery of the defense forces of Ukraine today hit two areas where the enemy, enemy's manpower and military equipment were stationed, the general staff said. Okay, well, that's fine. What can I say? It's uh, The Russians said uh, uni unilaterally that they will uh, cease the hostilities. Obviously, you can't do that, and I'm not trying to uh, uh, <coughs> be an apologetic, but if you're here and uh, those guys are coming towards you, you're not going to say, wait a second, you can shoot me, I will not shoot back because I have an order uh, and on the 6th and on the 7th, I should not shoot back. No, of course, you're going to do that. Or you're going to keep them uh, at bay so they don't come towards you, if you know what I mean. Because the other guys know, obviously, the Ukrainians know that uh, while the Russians are not shooting, I don't believe that to be 100%, you know what I mean, enforced, um, then, uh, and I don't, I don't know the percentage, as you said, 100% to say that I don't believe it's going to be enforced. But now, the, in the, the, how many instances, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure there will be active duty uh, troops that will make sure that these guys are not uh, catching you around the fire and uh, blow your brains out, and uh, or keep them at bay with regular... Uh, uh, shell launching or missiles or whatever you got so yes when they say here i uh, in um, ukrainian media and in american media uh, the russians broke their own truce uh, 11 times or 17 times yeah i mean what do you expect do you want them just to sit around the fire and uh, sing uh, carols while you come to, towards them and shoot them and they say well <coughs> the order is not to shoot so shoot me kill me I'm going to meet whomever. Mm, I don't think so. I mean, you got to have a certain kind of uh, a number or percentage of your uh, military and active duty to make sure that the rest of the army takes a break and celebrates. I mean, come on. It's, 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 I don't want to say common sense, but would you think that every, I mean, you think that the Russians would do what I just said? Stay around the, around the fire and whatever happens, whatever happens, happens. I'm not going to shoot. And the guys come and say, oh, sorry, you're on the fire, you're singing carol. Oh, we, we come when? On, on the 8th? Well, see you back on, on the 8th, you Ruski, and I just go back. Do you think that's what's going to happen? No. So, obviously, there are going to be troops that are going to uh, actively engage those guys as an, uh, um, you know, keeping them at bay and reacting to their attacks. 100% uh, certain. 
So I have no doubt that that, that, that occurs. Now, um, of course, uh, this, uh, um, if you read the Americans news and the Ukrainian news media outlets, they tell you that uh, um, Putin doing what he's doing and uh, saying, okay, no shooting for what, two days or so. It's just a bluff. Uh, he's just a <coughs> weak, that's bad, hypocritical. N I haven't heard one, one positive comment and say, oh, you know what, good for him. Good for the people over there that uh, it take, take two days to, I don't know, celebrate or whatever they want to do. Which in itself, well, you want the other way around? I mean, the other option is not on the table, which means the Russians just get the fuck out, okay? So you have two options. They offer two options. Uh, not, not they. Reality offers two options. One, we fight or we take a break. Now, you don't like when they fight. That means the opposite should change your, uh, you know, from negative to positive. But no, you're still negative. So how is that possible? It's like you say, well, Emily, I want your phone. Well, if I don't, if I don't give you the, uh, the phone, I'm an asshole. But if I give you the phone, you should be, you know, be okay with that. And you're still not okay with that. It was all, all about the, 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 this. It was a phone. I'm not talking about my glasses. It's a different story. Let's take the, 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 the issue on the telephone only, which is ceasefire. No ceasefire? Ceasefire. It's two opposite decisions, plus and minus. I mean, however you want to take it. So if this is not okay, this should be okay, or at least be something positive about it. <coughs> I understand Ukraine did not want to do that. That's fine. I made a video on that and I uh, bitch about it, but now I'm not going to do that. But on the other hand, I, uh, I listened to, I listened, I, I read um, Ben Wallace, uh, tons of Ukrainian uh, leadership, um, uh, the Germans, the French, whomever felt important came out and said, well, that's treacherous, ah, well, that's hypocritical, ah, that's false, ah, that's fake, ah, that is, because the Russians said, two days, no fighting. You want, that means you want the up, I mean, it's, you know, uh, you, it's no winning, it's no winning. But it's the same thing as you do with a bully. A bully comes for your, I don't know, for your lunch. Uh, don't give it. Fight. You're going to lose probably. But the next time he's uh, going to avoid you. Or he's going to come in a different way. Why? Because he's going to get scattered as well. It's the, the, the whole thing. Put a fight. I know you have to have courage. Sometimes we're afraid. That's what brings courage into play. Because courage without being afraid, there's no courage. I mean, like here, virtue without fighting for virtue and being hurt, hurting for virtue. There's no virtue, or not only virtue, but values, you know. Uh, I'm against rape, but when I see someone raping someone else on the street, I don't intervene. Well, I don't like child abuse, but when I see an adult beating a child in the middle of the street, I don't intervene. But I'm, I'm against that. I'm for... Uh, really? You have to go over there and intervene. Expose yourself. No, why? No, I'm Excuse me, we got a little problem here. Shh. What's my name? I don't want to give it. That's how we are. We've been in this situation more or less. Uh, I'm exaggerating, obviously, or not. So, um, here we have uh, these guys blowing up the Russians. Still war. and uh, But just imagine how things would be, uh, uh, you know, explained in an article if it would be the other way around. Poor Ukrainians were celebrating Christmas and they were having the children around and their families and all that and eating their traditional whatever food they have. And then the evil Russian just uh, descended upon them like a pack of wolves and they blow them into pieces. And look, here is a little uh, toy of a child toy and blown up by the evil Russians. I mean, how many times you see pictures, or at least I see almost every day, pictures of ruins and all that, and a little, uh, how do you call it, a little doll just tossed on top of them and say, hey, and, and, and ch -ch -ch, another pig, another child dead, and, uh, which I'm pretty sure they're over there. I don't want to be, uh, you know, a freaking asshole here, but these things are staged like fucking hell. Why? Because the, all, all over there is dirty, but the, the doll is like new. I'm not new, but no, no dust. It's like you took it and you set it. It was not turned around and anything like that, but hey, another kindergarten was blown up. 
okay, uh, obviously that's uh, awful, but I don't believe that picture uh, gives me that story. But hey, they do what they need to do. They're under attack. They fight for uh, NATO, so good for them. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.